Hello, I will walk you through the setup and execution of the Pages API sample code. There are four scenarios in the sample. List all pages in a given site, copy a page to multiple sites, delete pages modified before a given date, and promote pages modified after a given date. Let's first clone the repository from GitHub. It takes a short while. Then here, CD to the target folder. We will use the Node.js version in this video. Then we have the code. We can start by reading the README. It says we are to register an application on the Azure product. Let's copy and open the website. Click Register an application, and I'll give it the name Pages API App. The tenant ID and application ID are visible here after creation. Using this information in the configuration file, app ID, I just copy it and paste here, and then the tenant ID. A new certificate needs to be created specifically for the app secret. Let's create a new one and name it Node.js. Here we have it. Copy the value put it in the app secret file. Here's another file called site ID. Let's say we are going to use this retail operation site. To obtain the site ID, simply call the slash API slash site slash ID endpoint. Then it is here. That's all for the configuration. To run in the code with npm start first, Oops, I, I just realized I forgot to install the dependencies. Yeah, let's install it. Yeah, and yes, it should work this time. We are able to obtain the token. However, when we try to list all pages, we are running into a 403 forbidden exception. This is due to the fact that our app is in Azure lacked API permission. Let's ask for new API permissions. I'm going to request sites dot full control dot all here and grant permission for this app. Let's wait for a few seconds. The code should work now. Okay, wonderful. In the terminal output, we can see a list of pages. For a better look, let's open the site pages library. As this demo shows, we can list every pages on a specific site by using the list pages function. The next scenario is about copying the page to multiple sites. We are going to find a target page. Let's move to another site. And I'm targeting this page about Grady Archie. Let's try to move this page from this site to the site we just used. As we just switch to another site, we are going to get the site ID again. Let's copy and paste it in the configuration file again. And this time I will add a comment here. The new site is called engineering onboarding. Okay, great. Let's do it again to list all pages on the site. And we can find this one called about Grady Archie. We have the page ID, let's copy it. The page ID should be used as the first parameter in the page copying scenario. And we need another parameter for the target site. We'd like to copy this page to the written management, management site, so let's copy the site ID. So this is a retail management. And paste it, paste it here. Um, so in this scenario, if everything is good, we are going to copy this about Grady Archie from the engineering on body side to the retail management side. 
Let's run the script. Okay. Let's move to the target site pages library. Yeah, here we have it. Let's do a comparison between them. We can see the layout, the page content are exactly the same. The following scenario involves deleting pages before the desired date. Returning to the site pages library, we can see that the created and last modified date. These pages were created about 40 minutes ago. And to make sure most of the pages are deleted, I will select a target date's time that is, say, 10 minutes before now. Okay, back to the configuration. I have to uncomment this. Oh, it's not retail management, it's retail operation. Let's just fix the typo and run the script. Okay, we can see there are a lot of pages deleting and the page library is refreshing automatically. After running this script, we deleted 11 pages with only one page left the page we just copied from the other site about two minutes ago. That's cool. The last scenario is about promoting pages after a specific date. Since the majority of the page on the old site have been deleted, we'll use a new site. I'm trying to obtain this site ID once more. Global Sales is the name of this site. We can first browse through every pages on this site. Promoting a page means converting a normal page into a news post. Yeah, let's give a target date for it. I'm going to make sure all of the pages can be promoted so we can have a better look at the home page. Here is a news web part on the home page. The news web part will display all news posts on this site. Okay, running this script. We can see there are more and more pages are being promoted as news posts. From the site pages library, we can also see the last modified date is turning into a few seconds ago. Yep, great. There are 13 pages being promoted. And we're going to refresh the page to see the difference. Here, in the news web part, we can see the pages just being promoted. Thank you.